quick yeah. in. So it's okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so my name is John Gibbons and today we're going to run through a hip assessment and I just wanted to show you on this right leg uh, the normal ranges of motion. But there's something going on with this left leg and I want to show you the differences between uh, a normal hip and a potentially um, a pathological hip joint. But let's run through this right hip. First movement I would normally do is the 90-90 test, so 90 degrees of hip flexion, 90 degrees of knee flexion, and we're looking for around 45 degrees with relatively no end feel of restriction. And we can see there's 90 degrees, so we've easily got the 45. This one, we're gonna turn to at least 30, 35 with no restriction. And again, we can easily get to that range of motion. From here, I would normally bring the leg across. So this is the favor test, allow that leg to drop down as far as we comfortably can, or we can put the foot onto the inside part of the knee and allow that leg to drift down. You can see that leg almost drops down, which is good. If they have any pain restriction in the groin, it could relate to the hip. If they have any pain posteriorly on the SI joint, then it could relate to some dysfunction with the, the, the sacroiliac joint. From here, two choices. You can ask your patient to hold onto that knee, slowly pull that leg in. You're looking for normal range of motion. Ideally, the knee should come towards the chest, which it does. You can also look, if the knee is lifted, then this hip is a fixed flexion deformity. It might indicate a psoas contracture or maybe hip pathology. From here, I might lean in so I can spring, which feels okay. Yeah. From the same side shoulder, I normally would say to my patient, pull that knee into that shoulder, and that also feels okay as well. From there, relax your arms. I will go into the FAIR test or the FADIA test, which is flexion and duction with an internal rotation and then any signs of nipping impingement. So this is a label tear test. Also looking for FAI, which is femoral acetabular impingement, and that seems okay. I can, if I want to, do a quadrant test. I can push down and I can test in different quadrants, almost like, like a clock test, but I'm just looking for potential irritation within the hip joint. I am gonna just quickly look at the left one now. If you're lying your back now, please. So if you look at the difference, some tests are positive, some tests are negative. With this left hip, first movement, we're looking at 45 and it's easy, so no problems when I come into this one. The internal rotation, there's a difference, so there's bind here, and earlier when I did the test, the patient would feel a little bit in there. I don't want to irritate, so there's a little resistance of internal rotation, and there's something catching inside there. When I go into the favors test and allow that leg to drop down, you can see it is higher and you feel yep, something within that hip joint and you can see there's a natural restriction. It's not the adductor longus, so more likely it's, a, it's a, a test for the hip joint. The next one, hold on to that knee, slowly pull that knee in and you can see there's, it doesn't go as far as the right side and there's a natural blockage and you feel that. And also when you go to the opposite shoulder, the patient feels that as well, so there's a limitation of movement, relax the arms. If I do the fair test, so I come out and it's okay, in this first half of motion, it will be okay. But as I come into the, the second phase, more likely, I don't irritate the sit. So as I come in, the patient more likely is to start to increase the, then it catches and it can be potentially irritating on that, on that movement. The quadrant test in the inner phase would probably be okay as I come around. But if I came in to this sort of angle to the opposite shoulder and I came in and compressed, you might feel something in here, yeah? So, it's hard for me to say exactly what's going on, but in reality, there might be um, an acetabular label tear on the left side because of the positive test with the flexion to the opposite side and with the favors test. Uh, and it might be that there's a little cam lesion on the neck of the femur, which is part of the femoral acetabular impingement. It depends on much, it bothers the patient on a one to 10, 10 being very irritating, very painful. Then uh, if she's on a one, two, then more than likely, uh, the patient will probably not do much about it, where, whereas if it bothers her on a six, seven, eight, then more than likely uh, a steroid might help to reduce some symptoms around if she presents with back pain, groin pain, knee pain, adductor pain, because you can have multiple pains here, uh, and then with a view with, with an arthroscopy to try to uh, maybe shave a cam and then repair the label. But then it's a, a decision the patient will make. Okay, thank you.